Now the hill goes up right there. Okay. Hey, yeah, just talk me through how this works. This is where the water comes out of this big area up here. Yeah, I mean, basically, this is a big meadow up here. Right. And it's it's kind of like a meadow valley. Right. And then the the water comes to, it kind of gets squeezed together right here. This is where the uh, slope starts to go down. So this is the point where the underground it, water from, from Mount Pinos that's been melting. Even, Mount and, and Mount Pinos is beyond these peaks we see here, right? Yeah, it's basically just straight up there. So it's a much bigger area than we can actually see here. Yeah. And so all the there. rain, all the precipitation comes down into this big meadow. Yeah. And, and then it starts like, seeping out of the ground. Yeah, because mostly it's, if there's a lot of rain, it'll be above ground some. But whenever it's, uh, it usually this year, there was no above ground water. And it just was all um, collecting in the, in the meadow. And then... The meadow was like a big sponge, and, and this is the place right here where the you squeeze the sponge and the water starts to come out. Right there. Because of gravity. And, yeah, right there is the, is the point where the water first comes out of the ground. Well, this whole area, but that's where you see it the furthest up. And then it actually is like a little stream for yeah. time. It's, it's a stream. Yeah, this but there, now the spring box is... Well, right over here, though, is kind of a cool spot because this is... The, this is um, Normally the stream would flow into here, but right now this is the place where the spring is first coming out of the ground. This is this water right here. Okay. And uh, so oh, I built that I little see. dam right there. You put a dam right there. Because it was flowing over just a little while ago, about you know, two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Now, um, Vlasa, where's the spring box? Right, it's right, right over there. You can't see right it. Right over the there. But this, the level of this water is just about a foot below the, the level of the top of the spring box. Um, and then there's that second dam, or that second pool over there with another little dam well, on Well, why did why'd they put the spring box there if this is where the water comes out, or it doesn't matter? I, I think it comes out in this whole area. It just, <laughs> it, the whole area, it's all, yeah, it's yeah. all seeping out, and that's as good a place as any over there. Yeah. Let's go around and look at it. And well, like you said, that trail back there used to go through. I used to take a hike. I, you know, I used to be be able to go way, way around. Yeah. Seems. Well, well there's a yeah, there's a trail that goes all the way up. Um, but now it's overgrown. Well, seems there's like there's another way around, and it's because that um, is in that whenever it's um, full of water, it's pretty much impassable. Impassable. Yeah. And so there's another. If you go down that way, it crosses the creek down below there a little bit and swings around and then comes back over here. What, the trail? Yeah. So and and that's a pretty passable still. Yeah. Because it's been a while since I've walked it. Yeah. That one's pretty good. So this is the other side of it, and there's that first pool up there. And it was actually, this this pool has gone down some. It was um, almost continuous, contiguous. So, the... so, yeah, you've made this effort to stop the water. Yeah. Little places where the water can soak into the ground and this dam right here is pretty important i think because this one keeps this water at that level and this is one of the main places where the water is sort of collecting and then it goes uh it goes through the ground and it collects over in here too there's another dam right there that I built to keep the water kind of keep the sponge full right here and there's the spring box you can see right there Boy, it is, even with the clearing here, it's hard to find. <laughs> yeah. The right. secret spring box. And what year did we figure they put this in in the 30s or something? Yeah. I mean, a long, long time ago. Yeah. I could look it up, but I, I think it was in the 30s when the other spring, you heard about that, the other spring used to be down by my place. Yeah, that's what you said. He's, that's what, uh, that was the story. We, anyway, so, okay. Nice you, boy. Come over here. Well, that's it, and then we, we got, and then there's more. Then there's that dam, too, right? Yeah. So that or one, you think this is the most important one? Or are they well, one? I think both of these are pretty important. Pretty important. Well, it's a sure good thing.
But next year I plan to do more damage. More damage. <laughs> You're gonna. Well, you know, I was. I mean, just for like, it's good to have energetic up there doing these little small improvements that add up. Wow. Okay, I'm turning this off. Okay, these are some additional dams that Dan here built. Just small dams, and he was saying that if you have enough of these, it just slows the water down enough to, what would you say, bring everything back to life? Yeah, it just and creates, it, it basically allows the roots of the trees to grow in and settle the, uh, or, you know, like, basically fit the, keep the, what a, it's just like a terrific improvement and this thing was full of water yeah, that you could take the biggest swimming hole of all is right here when it's full yeah, it's the biggest. can't can't swim laps in it, but you can definitely get cooled off and then you did some even further down yeah there's <clears throat> i mean there's this little one here there's one down. oh yeah even i missed that one and you get the rocks here and roll them over on a hand cart dolly yeah and and hand tool all just hand tools no machinery yeah. to put them in place but there's a little one there there's a little one down there by that big rock just little ones <laughs> and you'd read a book where a guy had done something like this twenty thousand little dams and transformed the whole the whole area okay Let's see oh yeah this is an, a picture of a picture i don't know if you can see there's that Knox Knox swimming. This is how it looked. Look it, at that. It was uh, about three feet deep. Okay. It was a nice little spot to come hang out. So, and Dan bought here in 2013. I bought in 2014. And there's quite a history of characters like us over the years. Yeah. Include Mr. Greenleaf was the original one. Yeah. And uh, he was a World War I veteran. And he's buried, I believe, with some kind of military honors or oh, yeah. something. Yeah, a World War I veteran. Hmm. And he pioneered this area. Okay.